Brothers, I just really appreciated Mike's question this week, that passage about being a bond slave and interesting. My wife and I are reading through the Bible in a year and this past week that was one of the passages. Um, and yeah, to answer that question, when I first thought of that question about I bond slave of Jesus Christ, my first thought went to, well, how have I performed this week? How have I done? Have I wanted to be a bond slave? Have I acted like a bond slave? And then I realized that is just a works-based Christianity thinking. And I thought, you know, the answer to that question isn't so much dependent on me or my perfect performance. It's really dependent on the master. Am I a bond slave? The answer is absolutely I am. But not because I always act like one or always want to be one. I am because he purchased me. And he purchased me at the cross and it was finished and it was done. And my performance doesn't always match up with the fact of who I am. But I will always be a bond slave of his because he made me his slave. He made me his bride. He made me his child. Um, and I thought, you know, what does a bond slave always do everything perfectly? I'm sure they don't or didn't. But they were a slave to the master whether they did well during the day or they didn't. If they were lazy for a few hours or did stuff the master didn't want them to do or... Um, that doesn't mean they're not a bond slave. They're still a bond slave because they were purchased. And they're not their own. They're bought with a price. And so my thought, my answer to that question went from focusing on me to focusing on Jesus and what he has done and the price he paid to purchase me as a bond slave. What I really want, I'm asking the Lord to do, is to give me a desire to act like a bond slave because I love him, not for what he can do for me, or not because I want to be free from guilt and free from condemnation and self-loathing and frustration and remorse. I, I, those can be motivating factors, but the one factor I really want God to develop in me is a desire to be his bond slave because I love him. I like what Joseph said too, you know, when we look at Christ and his mercy for us on the cross and how much he's given to us. How can we not but love him? And so, I like the question, but I'm just glad the Lord turned my thoughts to himself and away from me and helped me realize that he loved me perfectly and he purchased me sufficiently. And so therefore, I want to, to rejoice in that and I want to love him and I know that when I love him, I will obey him. And I will live the way a bond slave should live. So, great teaching this week. And I'm just so grateful for Jesus purchasing me to be his slave. Oh, what a blessing that is. Not a, and I thought, you know, I was a slave to sin. Um, but now I can be a slave to Christ. So I praise him for that.